Hey y'all, this is Troy Black. So I want to share with you a really cool vision the Lord gave me about the country of Egypt. And this is the end of October. And in this video, uh, you are going to hear some really crazy stuff. So in this vision I got, I immediately knew that the Lord was showing me um, e the country of Egypt because I was seeing um, some camels. I was seeing some people walking through the desert. There's sand. There was pyramids, you know, and this was a very vivid vision that I was getting. Um, and, I, and I'm looking at this and thinking very much Egypt, you know, I keep watching and suddenly I see inside of this treasury that looked like it was in the same location, a lot of um, money and gems and jewels and things. And a big basket scoops up a bunch of this money and carries it out. Then I see what's a big river. I recognize it as the Nile River. Um, and there's this uh, w small wooden boat on the river. Um, and people, uh, there's two people holding this giant bucket. It's like a massive, uh, as big as a person, a bucket full of water. And they're dumping this water into the Nile River. And now I'm thinking like, this is weird. You know, what is, what is that? And then I see that on this little boat, it's like two or three person boat, um, someone has placed this golden crown like on the edge of the boat. And as they're moving along in the water, it gets bumped. The crown falls off into the Nile River and gets lost in the water. You know, so I am, I am uh, very intrigued by this at this point. And so I stop, uh, you know, I, I, I stood up, I, I started praying about it and I'm like, you know, God, what is this? You know, like you're going to have to show me what this is. Um, and, and I'm, I'm going to get to some really cool stuff in a second. Okay. Um, but, but now, uh, <laughs> what I did after that was I was like, you know what, if you want to show me anything else, I'm gonna let you show me the rest. So I closed my eyes and I laid down on my floor. I closed my eyes and I started to see some very specific images. These were a little different. And what I did was when I started to see these images that I did not recognize, I did not know what this was referring to. Um, you know, I knew the first one was referring to Egypt. I, I drew pictures of these things. Um, so I'm going to show you what these pictures look like. Um, the four pictures I drew, oh, number one, there was a building. It looked almost kind of like an old castle, but a little bit different than like a medieval style, you know. Uh, the second image I saw were pillars. They were these very like tall uh, stone pillars with points at the top. Um, the third thing uh, that I saw was I saw what looked to be Google Maps, a picture of Google Maps. And, and on this picture, I saw a blue um, lake. And then I saw an image of face, uh, like a carved out face in a piece of stone. So I drew these four images on a piece of paper and then I prayed. I said, God, what are you trying to tell me about, you know, about this vision that I've gotten? And the Lord gave me a very specific, very clear explanation of what was happening. To let you know how much I knew beforehand, I knew absolutely nothing. I didn't know what was going on in Egypt. I didn't know what issues or problems they were having. I don't really follow the news very often. Um, and I haven't heard anything, you know, about what's happening this year in Egypt. So that's how much I knew going into this. And so the Lord very specifically said, Egypt is spending a lot of money to try to fix a water problem, but it's not going to work and they are going to lose some of their authority in the process. What he was saying, he was referring to this vision saying the people carrying the money out of the treasury, that's Egypt spending money to try to fix a water problem. You know, the people pouring water into the Nile, they're trying to fix this problem. You know, obviously that wouldn't be a good way to do it. But I knew what he was, I knew what it meant. And then this crown falling off the boat into the water and getting lost. Essentially, some of their authority, crown representing the authority, getting lost in the midst of this water problem. So that was the the, the uh, word of knowledge God gave me. I got online, I started Googling Egypt. I just Googled Egypt water. And this is what I saw, y'all. I had no idea. And, and this, uh, this was an article from September 22nd of this year, 2020. The article is titled, The Ethiopian-Egyptian Water War Has Begun. Apparently, Ethiopia is, has been constructing a grand Ethiopian Renaissance dam on the Blue Nile River. So there's two parts of the Nile that come together into the Nile River that runs through Egypt. One of those is called the Blue Nile, and that, that half of the river originates in Ethiopia and it comes from Lake Tana or Tana. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. 
So this is what I did next. I, I Googled Ethiopia, Google Maps pops up. And so on the side of Google Maps, they show you photos, you know, uh, of the location you're looking at. So I start to scroll down on the photos section and no joke y'all, the first thing I saw was this old castle type building. I'm gonna put the name of it on the screen. I'm gonna show you the photo, the screenshot I took. And this was the exact same thing that I saw in that vision. And so I knew, suddenly I knew God was talking about Ethiopia. I keep scrolling down and I see these uh, these tall pillars. I think they're called like obelisks or something like that. I'm probably saying that wrong. They've got points on top, you know, and immediately I knew like this is Ethiopia that God was talking about. And then I looked up, I Googled uh, that lake and the dam and I saw the the picture. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you. The picture of the river coming from Lake Tana, and when I saw Lake Tana, I knew that was the lake I had seen uh, in the vision, and, and and I saw how the water ran through and where they were gonna where they they are damming it up, um, and then <laughs> I went ahead and Googled Ethiopia. The first YouTube video that popped up, I clicked on it, I started watching it, and I saw in that video the fourth image that I drew, the uh, the the face carved in stone. So I'm gonna show you that picture as well. So what is the point of all this? What is the point? Um, I've shared this recently in another video, but God has been giving me a lot of prophetic words um, for, for various countries lately, but I do not believe they're necessarily for those countries. I believe these words are for you, for the body of Christ. And what I believe God is doing is, is he's taking an event that's happening in the world and, and he's using it as a metaphor, a picture for something he's wanting to show us, uh, to teach the body of Christ, to show us in the spiritual realm. So that's what I believe God is doing right here. So I read this article. I'm going to read a few uh, short highlights out of it, and then I'm going to share the prophetic word I believe God wants me to share with you. So it, um, it talks about how Egypt is upset at uh, Ethiopia because Ethiopia feels like they have the right to dam this river up. Egypt feels like they don't because Egypt already has water issues. They uh, And this article was talking about how they already have water shortages, and they believe if this, if this part of the river gets dammed up that's coming toward them, that they're going to have even less water, that it's either going to affect the water levels um, temporarily or permanently. And so Egypt is basically trying to uh, work uh, work with Ethiopia and get them to slowly uh, stop, uh, to basically slowly dam up the water um, and fill up this, this reservoir that they're going to fill up based on how much rain is coming in. So if more rain comes in, like you can fill it up quicker, Ethiopia is not happy about that. They don't want to, they don't want to comply necessarily. They said that, that, uh, it says, Ethiopia says such a guarantee is unacceptable. They're not going to guarantee that. So this is what the article says. It says this is more than just a piece of infrastructure. It has become a nationalistic rallying cry for both Ethiopia and Egypt, two countries scrambling to define their nationhood after years of domestic upheaval. And here's what's actually happened. The water war that this article is talking about is a cyber war. It's, it's, it's an online thing. Like both these countries... A lot of people have have basically bullied each other back and forth, you know, uh, on social media sites, making videos saying, you know, haha, we're going to dam up your water and, you know, you all are horrible for doing this, you know, type of thing. Like, like really, really mean stuff. I'm not even going to get into it. Um, it's even gone beyond that where they've actually, there's been cyber attacks on each other's like uh, government sites and things like that. It's really nuts, y'all. Really crazy. And so this is one more quote from the article I want to share. It says, at their core, all the online attacks, hacks, and discord are driven by the same force, nationalism, nationalism. And when I saw that word nationalism, that's, uh, I knew the Holy Spirit was saying to me, this is the prophetic word. This is it. This is what I want you to talk about. So I'm going I'm to share this real briefly, but y'all, man, very specific, these images that I saw, okay? And here's the thing, I know you either have to take my word for it or not, you know, whether whether I uh, uh, knew about these things beforehand or not, and I didn't, but here's the thing, I don't want you just to take my word for it, okay? I want you to go to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, is this really from you, you know? And if it is, then man, this is cool. The Just the fact that God was speaking so specifically about this, but also... You know, not only is it cool, but also it means God really wants us to pay attention to this word that he's sharing, this prophetic word, okay? So please pay attention. Um, and I'm not just speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself as well. This is what I believe God asked me to say. 
He said, speak out against nationalism. I'm going to read the definition of nationalism. It says, identification with one's own nation and support for its interests, especially to the exclusion or detriment of the interests of other nations. In this article, the nationalism is, is, you know, Egypt and Ethiopia, and they have, they, they've supported their own country so much that they've, they've not looked out for the interests of the other country, right? But I don't, I don't, you know, I don't believe that's exactly what God is saying in a spiritual world. I believe what he's saying is we as the body of Christ should never get so uh, nationalistic in our thinking. We should, we should never be so loyal to the, to the country or nation or, or, or whatever it might be, government, whatever it might be here on earth that we're supporting. We should never, our support should never go out to that so much so that it is to the exclusion or detriment of the interests of the kingdom of God. That is what I believe God is saying, is that our loyalty to his kingdom should always be higher than our loyalty to any kingdom here on earth. And that's it. (laughs) That's all I've got. (laughs) But here's what I encourage you to do. (laughs) Sometimes God will give me a lot more to say. And and I believe God is wanting me to make this point very briefly uh, for a reason so that you won't just listen to me talk for five to seven minutes, you know, and then forget about it. But I believe God is encouraging you to go to him and say, and for you to say, God, how have I done this? Where have I done this? Show me where I've done this and help me to correct it. You know, if I've done this and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing y'all. And so that's all I have for you. I hope this was encouraging. Um, I hope you found this really cool. Like I did. I, uh, I was in a state of shock after I saw this photos on, I mean, not really shock, but you know, it's just, it's just awesome. It's awesome how God speaks specifically, um, you know, and oh my gosh, y'all, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, I hope this is encouraging. Um, please do go check out uh, troyblackvideos.com. If you haven't got a chance to read my book, you can find a link to it there. My book is called Stop Worrying. Uh, and then also, if you haven't listened to my podcast, please give it a try. It's really cool. I'm really excited about it. Uh, It's called My Prophetic Journal. And in this podcast, I share um, visions and dreams from the Lord and and some prophetic utterances. Um, A lot of really cool things, you know, of some of the, you know, things similar to what I talked about in this video. So if you haven't gotten a chance to uh, go listen to that podcast, I love y'all so much and I'll see you next time.